All right, I've got uh, some drawings I got from a book that I have, uh, several books. This is from one book I've got, Dynamic Hands, and it shows uh, the construction of a, the hand, a little, a little exact, greatly exaggerated actually, but it gives me a good feel for the uh, the shape of the knuckles and the, everything else, and uh, that's the reason I printed it out today. This is a sculpture that uh, was done by somebody, I guess, in marble. I'm not certain on that, though. Anyway, it's uh, it's good enough for reference for me, and uh, I try to do these things both right and left hand by just uh, mirroring mirroring the uh, picture, uh, so I got a right and left hand. All right, I'm going to get to work on this, and I'll be right back. Time to play with some clay. Okay, this finger's a little low. Whoop. Show you how I got, well, I won't show it to you because it's gonna disturb my ability to get this right. I think what I'm gonna do, First thing I'm going to do is make sure this armature doesn't come off. It's hard to get this small. It's hard to get your finger on it. There we go. I want to bend that finger down. Just like that. And... This one as well. Boy, if you think this is easy, Woo! I got a bridge to sell you. <sighs> I'm 
can't separate that finger. And Hard to keep it in camera because I forget I got the cameras on it. This is way too hard to try to keep this in camera and still be able to sculpt it. So I'm going to just forego doing this part of the uh, video because I just can't concentrate on this and the camera too. So, sorry. I'll be right back. Alright, what I'm doing is I'm just going ahead and painting this uh, Super Sculpty with my paint to make it look like clay and I'll be back after it dries and see what I can do about adding clay to it. The uh, paint has a tendency to kind of seal it and also to uh, make the uh, super sculpty just a little stiffer so it might be a better base to work my clay on. I don't know how much more I'm going to do on it. It actually looks pretty good. Anyway, I'll be All right, right I gotta solidify this on the uh, post I've got here. So I'm gonna just stick a little clay right there to keep it stable. I'm not gonna do fingernails or anything like that. I'm just gonna add just a little detail with regular clay. That's why I wanted to paint it. Sorry about the camera movement. I'm working kind of close to the subject right now <laughs> with the cameras. I'm working between the cameras. I've decided not to put veins. It's too small for all that kind of detail. And, uh, I'm just going to do what I can do with the fingers right now. a little knuckle right there. And a little knuckle right there.
I'm not going to worry about detailing the underside of the hand because it's never going to be seen anyway. All right, it's time to put the hand back on. There we go. I must say that looks pretty darn good. That's going to have to be it. I just got a phone call from a friend who's coming over to visit with uh, his wife. They're from out of state. They've, uh, they're just passing through on the way to another destination, but they wanted to stop by and say hi. So it's probably going to kill my afternoon, the rest of it. And uh, I'll pick this up next week, um, work on that hand, and... Uh, get everything uh, ready for that and uh, I'm happy I'm really happy the way this hand turned out it, it I, I'm really really glad I did it with with the materials that I did it with it actually looks really good I especially here where the fatty material for the uh, hand is that looks authentic all right Good night and have a great weekend everybody and I'll uh I'll certainly see you next week. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my 9 instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.